Rock Simulator rolls onto Steam Greenlight and has topped the voting charts. Let me know how you feel in the comments below, but first, my opinion. I'm Tarmac, and this is Feature Creep. If you haven't heard by now, a new title in the amazing trend of let's simulate boring things has shown up on Steam Greenlight. Some simulators do a reasonably accurate portrayal of their real-life component, whether that be driving a truck, train, or tractor, all the way down to card games and city builders. Then there are the others, usually ridiculously rough titles like Goat Sim or Surgeon Simulator, that have more comedic merit than gameplay. Through a combination of Reddit exposure and the subsequent news media picking up the torch, a group calling themselves Strange Panther Games has managed to rise to the top of the Steam green light charts in a very short period of time despite being very clearly a nonsense joke product. All of the signs do indicate that it is nonsense, but then again you never can be too sure of foolish intentions. Rock Simulator 2014 is actually very similar to things like the Three Wolf Moon Shirt, in that a certain subset of the populace just enjoys the joke, but another group would gladly buy it as an ironic statement to the world that they wish to be separated from their money. Now, the fact that it's listed as being a free game, and the Indiegogo campaign has raised an amazing $56 at the time of this recording, does indicate that the greater game community is just engaging in a bit of harmless fluff, but I wonder if it's really harmless. Steam Greenlight is one of the last bastions of indie game success, barring extreme luck situations when indie devs get featured by somebody with a big audience. Without having a big enough brand behind you, it's the only way that your game is getting on Steam. And this method has not been without its problems. Some games get greenlit much quicker than others, despite lower overall rankings. Mass crowd voting often tends toward genre rather than apparent quality, and issues relating to the potential, if odd, favoritism like what happened to Infestation Survivor Stories, or the rip-off of the Daisy Arma mod originally given the intentionally misleading title, The War Z. So, having the community vote up garbage jokes like Rock Simulator is certainly damaging to the indie game market because it takes focus away from indie games, right? Well, actually, I'm not so sure. Given the amount of press about this ridiculous title, a significant number of people are now visiting Greenlight who either haven't in quite some time or who have never been there in the first place. This added exposure could in fact be having the opposite effect. It's also a complete embarrassment to Valve and really showcases in a very public way just how poor Greenlight is for selecting titles to be available on a store page. This also comes very shortly after a plethora of other game issues on Steam. If you can call unfinished, broken junk, barely playable, potentially fraudulent nonsense such as Earth 2066 and Air Control games, by drawing more attention to the flaws of Greenlight, maybe just maybe Valve will make some of the much needed changes. The only really unfortunate part about all of this is that they did raise $56 on Indiegogo, which means that five gamers out there in the wild blue yonder actually like the idea of playing a game where you're a rock. And of course, the copycats have already begun. See Exhibit A. What do you think about Steam Greenlight? Do you use it? If not, why not? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're feeling generous, like those five people who donated to a game about being a rock, maybe hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you a thing. That's all I have to say. Tarmac out.